and action. Welcome to YouTube Sorbet Gossip News with me and Tommy. How is it going, Tommy? It is going great, Chris. Uh, people are getting ready to hit the road to go on summer vacations. People are getting ready to hit the beach. And people are getting ready to do all sorts of fun stuff that has to do with summer. Right, and plus 4th of July is coming up. What are your holiday plans for 4th of July? Are you going to be going out of town? Are you going to be going on a trip? Um, anyways, we have some YouTube celebrity gossip news. So let's get social and here we go. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, so, Tommy, what's going on for this week? What do you got for us? Okay, today? PewDiePie just recently announced in his recent video that he'll be taking another break after taking a break last year of nearly uploading a video every day for an entire decade. Uh, and uh, the first one, you know, just because he was burnt out and he needed to take a break. This time, it's a little bit different. It's kind of, uh, in his way he puts it, it's hilarious. Um, he uh, wants, first of all, to take a break uh, to play the new Minecraft update, which is caves and um, cliffs. So he'll be taking a little uh, time to do that, which actually has already released uh, on the 7th of this month. Uh, and then the other part, too, is... Um, he wants to take a summer vacation, and that will be sometime after, uh, so sometime from between the 7th and the 13th of June, or maybe uh, sometime after that. Well, that's pretty good, Tommy, that he's wanting to take a summer vacation. I mean, he works pretty hard on the content he produces, and a lot of the videos he does, he does some really awesome stuff, everyone. If you don't know who PewDiePie is, uh, Basically, he's a he's a gamer. He does a lot of pranks. He does a lot of everything into one, and so he's great. What he does, check his channel out if you don't know who PewDiePie is. So yes, yeah, so like he said, uh, he had been waiting for this for months. This update because uh, it had been announced back in May. Uh, so you know he's. Uh, he kind of was joking around about like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take this time off because I really want to focus on the game. Um, and of course, uh, a lot of his fans were like kind of shocked that he was taking another break. But he also had hinted um, even before this release came out that he was planning on taking a summer break uh, this year. So that was already announced to his uh, fans out there. So people were aware of it, uh, but might have still been a little shocked about it. But at least they were aware of the fact that he already announced it prior to him announcing this part of the break as well. Uh, so that's what PewDiePie is going to be up to. Um, when he comes back, he'll be refreshed and ready to put out more videos. And in the meantime, you can always watch his other videos and see what he's been up to. About his breaks, Tommy, he says he's been working so hard and he says he loves Minecraft and uploading videos as well. You know, that's work right there. So basically he's been working on a lot of videos and when you're producing, when you're editing, when you're um, adding things, when you're trying to get fan content out there, that, that is considered a, a like working in a part of a way. So basically he deserves that vacation. So hopefully he shows a lot of things that he does on vacation for fun. Oh yeah, and one last thing is um, there is no, uh, he hasn't mentioned whether or not he's gonna do a just kind of brief live play, no, not like videos, but uh, Twitch videos or YouTube live videos. Um, 
or if it just gets trick would be him focusing on the game. Uh, the bit, uh, he hasn't mentioned whether it might be like a brief, oh, like maybe 10 minute live here and there of him playing the update. Uh, but as of right now, it's just going to be him strictly taking the break. Leave your thoughts down in the description down below and with Tommy's story and uh, what are your thoughts about PewDiePie taking a break? Uh, what do you think about his content already? Do you, are you a big fan of PewDiePie? Like I said, look at Tommy's uh, story down in the section below to find out more if you're a PewDiePie fan. Moving on, we also have Kamala Harris and Joe Biden down in Mexico where uh, Kamala Harris is getting the Beatles treatment. There are a lot of bikers that are next to her and they're, you know, while she's going to the next uh, location, they're on their bikes and they're going pretty fast and they're filming Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. Since she's been down there, uh, she's been uh, talking to the VPs down there and she's been talking to the president down there about a whole lot of different issues that need to be handled and so Carmela Harris claimed that to news outlets out there and in interviews that she's been down to the wall as well. Well, she has, but she hasn't. See, if you don't know that Kamala Harris used to be a uh, police officer, well, she was. She was a cop back in the day, and then she got big, and she went to, into politics. She was down there during that time when a lot of things were happening, but she claims to tell news organizations and news outlets that she's been down there lately. Her and Joe Biden are handling the wall, but Joe Biden and President Joe Biden has put that on Kamala Harris to handle the illegal immigrant. Instead of, uh, I think it's um, just kind of ridiculous just to uh, send her just to basically uh, say a lot of stuff but not actually have anything to back it up and yeah you might be talking she might be talking with uh, heads of state she might be talking with governors uh, presidents prime ministers whatever they call them in their country um, but <clears throat> as far as I can tell um, and then they also claim she also be it's also claiming that oh we're gonna be looking into um, why people are migrating here in the first place um, which is a good thing if you're actually going to do that, uh, because we, as a, uh, and I'm saying uh, you and me, but I'm saying America as a whole, the government has had a really big impact in South America, Mexico, uh, through our drug wars, um, through um, uh, other kind of other influences uh, which make these countries unsafe to um, live in because of our influence and our interference with their uh, elections and their politics and their governments. I think it's uh, well um, discouraging how she claims to be going back and forth but she really is she's not really uh, she's she's misleading a little bit because honestly you're right about that Tommy she's talking about going down there how she's been down there recently where she's back tracing her words to where um, they're not true she hasn't been down there neither is Joe Biden so because the last thing I knew that she's she was actually in Guatemala not which is not in Mexico it's in Central America that's two different that's two different countries altogether so to say that you, when you were in Mexico, when you were actually in Guatemala, yeah, that's, there's a big difference there. And you're, oh, I've been to the wall. When you haven't been to the wall in like so many days. Yeah, that's a big, there's a big difference there. Joe Biden must be rubbing off on her pretty well just because, I mean, she's talking about being in all, all these places when she's somewhere else. It just changes the story around quite a bit. So what you can do is check out the story down on the section down below and um, check out our links. And what can people do, Tommy? They can subscribe after that. Or if you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell because it'll let you know when we put out new videos and make sure if you want to be notified uh, as soon as possible, click the all button. Um, and you can like this video, even if you're not subscribe and you actually have a YouTube 
account. You can share this with your friends and family. All right, so thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you again soon. And this has been a Top Level Media. Stay safe out there. All right, bye everyone. Bye.